Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine from daytime to nighttime. I did struggle with some scarring around my chin area. You can see here in the picture. And I did find some new products that helped me clear that up and also some acne that I was having. So you can see here as my chin gradually gets better it takes away the scarring it helps fade all of those scars and make my skin texture nice and smooth so if you want to see what i use please keep watching first thing we're going to do is pull all of our hair away from our face so that way it doesn't get in our way and just clip it up however you'd like to put your hair up Then going in with a headband, that way we don't get anything in our hair for the day. I like to exfoliate my skin about three times a week and here I'm using a charcoal and sugar facial scrub. So I just apply that onto my hands and this is a face scrub with some oil in it. So it's best to just tap it onto your skin. On the bottle it says to leave on for a few minutes. I find that it does nothing if you leave it on. So right after I apply it, I just go ahead and exfoliate my skin with it. You never wanna skip exfoliating because if you don't, when you go to apply your makeup, it's going to stick to any dry patches that you may have or any excess dead skin on your face. So exfoliating will help with that and clear any texture issues that you're having. So here I am just going through and massaging that all around my skin. If you have more problem areas, go ahead and concentrate on that. But here I'm just going through and doing small circular motions and just exfoliating my skin. Then going ahead and rinsing the exfoliant off my face. Make sure that you rinse very well because if you leave any of the little granules behind, it's really annoying when you go to apply your moisturizer and your makeup for the rest of the day. So just make sure that you get along your hairline really nicely and around your jawline. Using Neutrogena face wash to help with redness, I just put a pump into my palm and then work that all on my face. And I use this every morning. It doesn't dry out your skin. It helps even out my redness because I do suffer from a little bit of redness. So here I'm just massaging that all over my face and then rinsing it off. To brighten my skin up and add moisture back into it, I am using this moisturizing face mask and I just apply a little bit of that onto my hand and then rub that into my face. And I lied, I did not use a little bit of that, I used a large amount of that. I do apply this all the way down my neck and on my chest area. And then I let it sit until it is dry. It almost feels like a peeling mask once you're done. And then you go ahead and rinse it off. So I would say I let this dry about five to 10 minutes. Then here I am just washing that off my face. My holy grail toner that I've used for years is the Dickens Witch Hazel. And I just apply that onto a cotton round and then apply this all on my face. This helps soothe my skin. It helps get any excess dirt or oil that you have on your skin and it really helps keep all my blackheads at bay. For moisturizer, I go in with Cetaphil Daily Advanced Lotion and also this Neutrogena Facial Lotion because it has sunscreen in it. So I mix those two together and then work that all along my face, neck, and chest area. And I use this every morning. I do not leave the house with at least applying some sort of sunscreen on my face, neck, and chest area. And you need to remember whatever you do to your face, you also need to do to your neck and chest area. The first place to show aging on your body is your neck area. So you cannot neglect that that. Now your skin is ready for makeup or if you just want to go out like this you have a nice clean face. To remove my false lashes I use an eye makeup remover and a cotton round and I like the oil based one so you just need to shake those together to mix the ingredients and then apply that to your cotton round and I just hold this right above my eye probably for about 10 seconds and then once you take it off your eyelash glue is all soft so you can peel it off without doing any damage then just doing that to my other eye. To 
to remove all my makeup, I have been using this Albany moisturizing cleanser and a towel. So just take a clean towel, place that under hot water, and let that run while you're removing your makeup. Then you just need a little bit of this. I'm just wiping off a little extra, I got too much. So about that much, rub that together in your hands and then start massaging that all on your face. This breaks up all the makeup that you have on your face within a few minutes, it gets off waterproof mascara. Anything that I put on my face, this will get off. It doesn't leave my skin dry, it doesn't irritate it, it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. And I find that this is the easiest way and fastest way for me to remove all of my makeup. Then taking that hot towel, and I like to hold that over my face for about 15 seconds, let it break up any of the makeup, and then go ahead and wipe that all off. As you can see here, it gets off all my makeup. I don't have any eyeliner residue or mascara residue. Now for a facial mask. I love this mask of Magnuminti and I use this once a week. It helps pull out any excess blackheads that I have, any blemishes that are underneath the surface. It helps keep my skin clean and clear. And again, I use this about once a week. So here I'm just applying a generous amount all onto my face. I let this sit probably for a good 20 to 30 minutes because I put so much on. Then here is my skin after letting it sit. You can see the darker areas where it had pulled any oil, dirt, gunk that was in your face. Then going in with that same towel, I wring it out and then scrub off that mask. This is a great exfoliant. It helps make your skin polished and shine and just makes your skin beautiful. I am in love with this mask. I highly recommend it. Then going in with my toner again. I do use my toner after my cleansers in the morning and at night. So you just remember, always apply your toner before you do any moisturizing. And this just helps ensure, again, that nothing is left on your skin. For my eye cream, I use CeraVe eye cream. I put probably about a dime size amount on my ring finger, tap that together with my other ring finger, and I start at the outer part of my eye and work that on the top of my eyelid and underneath my eye. You need to make sure to be very careful with this area of your face because the skin is so sensitive and delicate. For my night treatment, I use Philosophy Help Me. This is the product that has helped my skin so much getting rid of all the scarring that I had on my face. So I put a decent size amount on my finger and massage that all over my face. This does have a small amount of retinol, so always remember to put sunscreen on in the day. And since I do have moderately sensitive skin, this is perfect. Then I just go ahead and tap that into my skin when I'm done rubbing it in. Once I have let that set into my skin, I go in with my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer and apply that on top. Since I do have dry skin, I need this just so it doesn't dry out my skin too much. If you have more oily skin, you might be fine with just the philosophy help me. So here is my skin after all my treatments. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.